minutes from December 13th. Everybody had a chance to look at them? Yep. Yeah. Anybody want to make a motion to accept? I'll move. Second. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. Thank you. Want to get right into the projects? Why not? Or do you want to work on the plan first? There's been some updates to the plan. Catherine added a couple things, and Judy has worked very hard on updating the whole plan with all the information that everybody's been giving it to her from all sides. Um, why don't we do the plan first? Now, um, the last one that you sent, Judy, the, the draft, that's the one we're working off of? That's all red well, marked? Catherine, you sent some numbers mine. or something. And Donna I just, and Catherine each. We each. It slightly. Right. But they are, it's true that it was from that document that Judy sent around yesterday. Um, I think both Donna and mine changes were small. But yeah, I, the numbers, what Judy had updated, I Judy had used it's such a complicated thing to explain, kind of. Julia, Judy had updated some of the uh, income numbers from the community preservation website, which is, seems to be the easiest place to go, even though she had suggested I go do some stuff from the housing preservation well, no, production I, there, plan, there, but... two set, there are two sets of numbers. The CPA affordability limits are different than the HUD affordability limits. So, but some of the numbers are exactly the same, and they, like, it's yeah. Well, anyway, it's a hard thing to even talk matter. about. But it matter. right, yeah, it doesn't. It. It's true. That's what you're working from, Ellen. That's right. With a couple of recent updates over the last two hours. That's all. Little ones. All I did was to uh, move some commas around so that they punctuation so that it was exactly the same as what's in the his, historical commission minutes there's nothing that, there's no content <laughs> that okay. changes it's different would you all like to go over it at a meeting or are we comfortable with seeing the changes and accepting them as they're written what's your pleasure i don't know that there's anything there that really needs discussing but I don't think there really is. I And I feel like those of us that have had to like parse words with our sections this time kind of have really gone through it. And Judy's been really great about giving us any comments back if there were any to be had. And so once you look at the edited document and it still says what you hoped it would say on your own, I think, you know, Judy's also made sure it does. So I think we've kind of done our due diligence, um, I'd be fine with just approving it in the latest, the last rendition from today, which was from Donna in the last hour or so. I, I would just say the, the only thing that we did with the historic preservation um, priorities is to call out explicitly um, archeological resources which would have been covered in what it or in, in the wording that existed, but it wasn't said explicitly. Um, and that's it. That's the, that was the change we made. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'll entertain a motion to accept the new plan for 2024. Uh, just one thing, Alan, did we want to, anything from the recreation though before? Is that that could be in the final plan. The only thing would be from Chris there, right? Was there anything? It was like like there. I know you didn't have anything on there last time, Chris, right? Your um priorities or anything? Uh yeah. So I um kind of like switched things up a little bit and got it uh, more organized. Um, and change the number. Um. The request ditch the turf. Um, oh, he's, still, he's still on the property. Yeah, we were still on the, the on the plan itself. Yeah. Not on the application for funding. This is for the, the master plan or the community preservation plan. Um you're gonna look at 
the section on recreation and see if you needed any updates on it. I noticed we did take off the center school playground, which I believe you did, Judy, right? I did. It's, it is gone. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not really available to play. All right. I guess you also added the Mass Audubon and Kestrel Trust maintains the conservation land with trails and walking and for walking and cross, yeah. cross country skiing. Um, but I, those are kind of factual changes. I didn't do anything, obviously, to priorities and goals. No. I did send you that, Chris, after our last meeting it was a long time ago. Um, you should have gotten the copies that circulated this afternoon, but. Okay, um, those are, uh, we got that email this afternoon. Well, I sent one last night and. Okay, yeah, I'll just. Or yesterday that. afternoon and. <laughs> I, and I did send you one after our last meeting, but it's something, when, did, when does the rec commission meet again? Um, yeah. We're going to meet next uh, Wednesday. Well, maybe if they could take a look at those priorities, we could approve it at, at our February meeting. Yeah. Really it's just it's easy. just three bullet points now, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it but is. one of them is is work at Hurley, which a lot of that is. Well, well, I was done, just going to so. say, but one of them may be outdated, and and I guess yeah. I guess uh, tell me if other people agree. The real question is. Are there things that the town ought to be doing in recreation that somehow aren't covered in the priorities? Right, it would be good mm -hmm. to anticipate future applications. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in a in a broad sense, not specific. Yeah. Yeah. Um, take take a look at the plan, Chris. Especially the recreation it, part. Make some it, copies. It, I don't and, have a copy of it in front of me. If somebody could give them the pages to look at. Say that again, Jude. I don't have the. I got the I copy in front of me. I can't see it on the iPad. So, um, if somebody could tell them the page for the recreation oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. It starts. Uh, whoop, ba, bum. I got it right here. Starts on page it, six. Yep. Page seven. Up, I make mainly just page six, Chris. Is what all the goals and priorities are. Okay, and what documents this? The uh, CPA master plan. Okay. You should have it's, it's on the website. If you go to the community preservation section yeah, on the Wheatley website, he should probably be working from the one that. Oh right, from there was an email that went around today. You're right, Judy. Yeah. Hmm. An email from today. Um, I don't know if I'm seeing that. I got. Oh, like, I wonder. Revised, the revised CPC plan. That's it. Yeah. Yep. We're talking about. Okay, that's what we're talking about. Yeah. That yeah. Plan, yeah. Perfect. Okay. Take a look at share it with your fellow committee members next meeting and see if you want to make any changes or if you're comfortable where where it is. Just remember when we start. When money gets tight and we need to make decisions on who gets funded, we really rely on this plan. And if you're asking for something that's not really in the plan or it's completely new to us, I mean, th that's where we give points and priorities. So yep. it's also a way to sort of step back and say, gee, you know, rather than funding what comes along, maybe we should be thinking about things we want to do and start thinking about projects that right. I, that I was actually thinking about because one of the recreation priorities now is to work on the a townwide trails program. And you know, after Paul Bordua brought us the uh, snowmobile application last time, I, I don't know where this has gone, but I did connect in with Pete Westover and um uh, Paul Newland, who've oh. been thinking about trails, and I, I realized, I mean, <laughs> just because I haven't thought about it, that if they were successful in getting a mass trails grant, CPA money could go towards the match that's required. I mean, that's 
so it's great that that's there as a priority. Yeah, I would encourage the recreation committee to work closely with the Snowmobile committee. Now, they're the ones maintaining the trails and trails that seem to be getting more and more popular. Yeah. I know, mm -hmm. I know the uh, the Whiteley Center Woods trails are being used every day, even in the snowstorms. They're out there walking. Right. So, I know Snowmobile Club takes care of a lot of those trails. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Applications. Uh, I'm going to go back to the library, the ceiling of the brick services. I know the historical commission met, and I'm sure the answer is still the same that it's maintenance. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I want to make sure nobody's come up with a different right. look at this. Yeah. Right. Um, I don't know what the answer is when it comes to maintenance, where that cutoff line is. Is it 15 years? Is it 20 years? Is it more? Um, I mean, I could make an argument for preserving the brick, but knowing you have to do it every eight to 12 years, I guess is where the argument ends. Um, that's where it's considered maintenance. Anybody want, yeah, am I talking right here? It's maintenance. Yep. Okay. Well, I think Ooh, it is. Yeah. And I think again, if it, if it were not maintenance, then I would argue that having to repaint the 200 year old clabbered and window frames on town hall every 12 to 15 years would also be eligible. It's the same thing. <laughs> and we've been told quite clearly that that is not eligible. Agreed. Okay. So make a motion to deny the application for the sealing of the Brooks at the Whitley Library. Anybody second? I think I would rephrase it to say to determine that it's not eligible. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> we have determined is not eligible. Uh, second. Oh. Yeah, I'm fine. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say nay. Unanimous. The Yellow Cemetery Tobacco Barn Restoration. Has anybody decided if they're going to be using the $4,400 figure or the $7,250 figure? Has that been discussed any further with anybody? Not that it matters. I have no problem doing this. You better feel this done. Excuse me? Well, the Historical Commission uh, voted to support the, um, I mean, it's we didn't really vote to support it because we're the applicant <laughs> to uh, the um, metal screws solution rather than the wooden mortise and tenon and so on and so forth. Uh, we're still in some conversation about the scope of work and what is included. And we're meeting again next week. And I predict that we will be able to submit a final application within a couple of days after next we meet next week. But we just realized we didn't quite finish the conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so we'll put that one on hold till next meeting. Dun, 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 dun. Hurley batting cages. We asked Chris to come up with. Uh, Before what? you go there, Alan, I think if we decide to have the the public hearing at our next meeting, the historical commission can commit to have. Well, next meeting is February. Usually March is when we have the. Public hearing, no? I guess so. I guess there's time. Mm -hmm. I think so. We usually have the public hearing in March. Okay. Uh, I mean, we have to have, if we revise the proposal, I mean, sorry, we must revise the proposal because the propose proposal now has two pricing options in it. And 
you know, we voted last year 60 days for revision. So I think we have to have it to this committee by, I think it's February 10th. Right. Um, it's, it's around then, <laughs> you know, and we certainly yeah, well, we, we, and we will do we that. Could it, we yeah. could have it available if, if the public hearing were, were in February, it would need to be available the day of the first legal ad. Agreed. But being in March, we should be all right. And we're going to need to wait for March. It should be all right, but I think it could be either way. I think it it would if it's available middle of next week. Um. Anyway. Well. Do Do we know when the town meeting will be? I think they were supposed to decide it at last night. The meeting, night's they, the meeting they canceled, canceled last night. Yes. Um, <laughs> no. They were talking April, but. Yeah. We're going to need to wait anyways because they haven't figured out the center school yet. The committee has yet to meet, and they're going to meet shortly, I guess. Uh, and, the 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 proposal review. Brian had trouble finding. Uh, this right. was not Brian's fault. <laughs> no, um, we're meeting next Wednesday. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So we we won't be able to decide that right application until we hear some more answers. Um. Okay, so we're just going to put on hold and we'll vote on the yellow barn at the next meeting. We should be fine and we should be have a public hearing in March. Okay. Okay. Yep. okay. Pearl Heath batting cages. You want to speak to it there, Chris? Um, yeah, so I uh, sent a chart to you and Judy. Um, just kind of highlighting um, the costs. So I think this round we got her um, cost number. Um, so we took out the term. Uh, Judy shared that info with me. Um, just kind of uh, highlighting that we cannot have the turf as part of it. Um, so we have the batting cage, we have the, uh, you know, the L screens that come with it um, for safety. And um, then we have some base material. Um, I just have an estimate on that um, from Wayne Pekoski. Um Yeah, so that's, that's what I got. So your updated request is for 16,518.70? Yep. I'd round it to sixteen five twenty five. Excuse me? I'd round it to something. Sixteen five yeah, yeah, twenty. Yeah. Sixteen five twenty five or something. Oh, sixteen five fifty. Okay. So we have an application from the Recreation Commission for new batting cages at Hurley Heat Park. Where where's the money coming from for the turf? Uh, we'll use our revolving account funds. Um, so each season with our registrations, um, we're pulling in, you know, a, a couple of thousand dollars. Um, so we have a, you know, good little uh, stash of money. And then when, uh, once we have the spring baseball registrations, um, again, we'll get another um, nice addition to our revolving account. So we'll use uh, that, those resources to get the turf get the turf for we probably should show that in the application the amount is out for me we should well we can write it in the application now or right can we just update what we got in front of us yeah so the amount of the turf is uh it's the paperwork from before i don't think well it's you had one quote 
Okay. Yeah, there's going to be in between three and four thousand dollars for sure. Okay, thirty-five. Okay, so I'll I'll amend the application to show that as non-CPA funding. Okay. Thank and you. And the total cost of the project is the sum of the two. <clears throat> Yeah, I guess we just got to take yeah, you know, take out the artificial turf op turf options in the description of the project. Because there is no options there. Okay, are we okay to vote on this? Sure. I, I would I would prefer not to vote on something that I haven't seen. Very good. No. Very good. I'm sorry, I thought he sent it to everybody. So um, no, I wasn't sure of, of uh, like the whole the whole group. Um, so I did, but I could forward that very very quickly to everyone via email right now. We will look at it in February. Yeah. <laughs> I'll send around the revised application. Yep. And the last one's an easy one. The Center School Historic Building Preservation. Again, um, we're not sure they're going to be looking for money or if somebody's going to be buying it. Um, I guess of the two proposals, Brian did say at least one of them may be looking for CPA money to help with the renovations. Um, what that exactly means, I'm not sure. I haven't seen the proposals, but Brian did say that to me. Just be aware of that. That may be coming up. I don't think there's anything in the proposals that would say how much. Did the proposals include needing, wanting this moved? I, I mean, I just because I don't I mean, what? know what they were. Did either of the proposals include funds to move right this was sort of a placeholder for something we weren't sure if it was even going to be needed right, right. there's a placeholder right. to say if both proposals to buy the place fell through well then there's going to be some work that needs to be done to the school i guess patch a couple holes in the roof oh right 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 i was thinking yeah, yeah never mind which why wouldn't that be considered maintenance i don't know this maintenance thing's really I think it might. I think whatever was going to be proposed would be more than patchy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But so I, I think. I mean, I'm. I am hopeful that we don't need to use CPA money for for that because if we don't have a buyer, we have a larger problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, we have a large problem um, for the building. But uh, am I correct that? It's kind of a rhetorical question that if if uh, no purchase agreement uh, was signed, we'd have to have something more specific from Brian than twenty thousand dollars to do something to help the center school. Which is, I mean, I'm not being critical of him. Again, no, he was just no. he was just putting a placeholder out right. there, right? Yeah, no, and I wonder right. if he should be reminded about that sixty day piece that you just brought up, Donna, because I forgot about it until you mentioned it. And so his revisions in theory should be due to us by our next meeting, right? Yeah, well, I, right. yeah. I mean, I haven't talked either with him or anyone else on the committee about what each of us, you know, because we haven't yes. met. Yes, yes. But I, I, I have it firmly in my head <laughs> for next Wednesday, <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, you did say the 17th. Is that next Wednesday? Yes. Yeah. All right. We'll see what they have to say. Hopefully there's a good proposal out there. Love There'll be a lot of good stuff to hear at our next meeting, I guess. Yeah. 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 Does anybody have anything else? We've gone through all the applications. No? 
going to be a quick one, folks. Not even 5.30. All right. It's good when that happens once in a while for it us. Is. It is. We, we, we're pretty good at this. <laughs> Thank you all. It. Thank you all very much. It's good to see yeah. everybody. I'm really excited that we're having seven members at these meetings. Um, it's, it's a welcome yes. change. Thanks, Chris. Alan, don't, yeah. don't, don't hang up yet, Alan. I'm not. Um, okay. What's up? Uh, I uh, have to be away again. It'll be the 14th of February, right? When we'll meet again. Yeah, I meant to ask. Yep. Yeah. Chris. Um, yeah, yeah. And um, I I intend to be at the meeting, but Chris, if you if you could uh, again connect it, because I may be, you know, sort of using my phone on my father's little balcony, <laughs> you know, and I don't I don't really want to be the host. <laughs> no. yeah. I think yeah. if I'm at the meeting, I can take minutes too. I'm being a little, well. Um, but it would be great if you could be Brian. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, thank you. You got it. So that's Wednesday the 14th. Yes. Valentine's Day. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. Also, also Ash Wednesday, my calendar tells me. Oh <laughs> kind of I remember. <laughs> you know? No excuse for forgetting, right? Yeah. Okay, folks. Are we good now? Thank yeah. you. Thank so, you. See you all thanks. in a month. Take care. Thanks. 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 Bye. Bye.